Good morning, good morning, good morning, Aquarius. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good evening, good night, whenever you come across this reading. I hope everyone is staying safe. I love you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much, beautiful souls, for your likes, sharing my comment. To new viewers, cross-watchers, come on in. Take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else, all right? I don't know your life, so reverse the roles how they fit in your life, okay? All right, we're going to get started. Spirit, guys, divine universe, I ask you to give me clarity, understanding. Most of all, I need your divine protection. Remember, Aquarius, there are blessings, lessons, and confirmations all in my readings, okay? All right, we're going to get started here for you, Aquarius. First card came out is fear. Next card is success. Next card is happiness. Where is what you're in fear of? Okay. Go with the flow. Acceptance is here. Angry. Change. Bottom of the deck. Aquarius. Manifestation is right behind it. Okay, so you got change. You got... Um, manifesting you're manifesting a big change in your life okay so what we have here Aquarius is that something you're in fear in fear of and it, uh, go with the flow is clarifying that card okay so whatever is in your mind you're in fear of I feel like you just need to go with the flow with it okay in other words don't don't think so deep into it right you have you have success and you have acceptance here which is telling me that it's something that you need to accept within your own self i see a lot of success i see happiness but i also see that maybe you are working on some shadow work as far as your anger i feel like between happiness and anger or fear somewhere in between there you're juggling and it's something to do within the within yourself Okay, accepting yourself, accepting because you're you really have this light around you, Aquarius. Okay, you have this light around success, a light is around you. You have happiness, <clears throat> but you have anger clarifying happiness. So I feel as though that you have some mixed emotions here. Um, I feel like when it comes down to balancing your happiness and balancing your anger, you have a problem with that. Okay. I feel like you don't know how to balance that out. Um, let's let's see some more. Spirit guys, this is for Aquarius. Tell me more about Aquarius energy. <clears throat> surrender. Something you need to surrender. I can I can release I can release my need to control. So something you're trying to control. Uh, a situation or in either you, okay, with this acceptance. I see it's in between the happiness and the anger. It's something, I feel like you need to do some shadow work. I need you to see, it's something you need to surrender and see within yourself, okay? Um, some of you need to balance out your difference of anger, uh, what makes you angry and what makes you happy, okay? I feel like there's an off, uh, off balance in your, in your mind. You need to surrender to have control. You're trying to control all aspects of your life all your emotions and you got acceptance here and i feel like what spirit guys is saying or uh, for some of you you're learning that uh to accept the things that you cannot change okay so um with this fear i feel like you needed to surrender with the need to control situations with this anger or with this happiness that you're having a problem with balancing is that you got to accept the fact that you is some things you cannot change but spirit guides need you to focus on the things that you can change okay and the wisdom to know the difference between the two all right so it's all about accepting something on your shadow side of yourself accepting yourself about the truth about something that you know, that you're way trying to balance out the, the truth, the happiness, what is really, you, it's something to do with your shadow work, your shadow side. So let's get more into this. Spirit, guys, tell me more for Aquarius. Mm. Blame, okay? 
That card that popped out was blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So I feel like part of you are happy within yourself, but part of you continue to blame yourself for the things. You blame you. You're very angry and mad at yourself for the things that uh, you allowed possibly in your life. Okay. And that's where I feel like you need to do the shadow work because, look, everyone makes mistakes. Everybody, you know, you, you're blaming yourself for things that you did not know. You're being very hard on yourself for things that you did not understand. And um, and I feel like that's where the shadow work at, is that you got to accept, okay? You got to accept that what has happened has happened. You can't change the past. You can't change of what happened, what somebody done, what you may have done. Uh, you keep blaming yourself for something that has been done. You keep finding yourself at fault because, mind you, you were, it was not all you. You've done the best that you could do at the time that you've done it, all right? So y'all feel like you keep blaming yourself for mistakes. And that's where the shadow self is that if you do not learn to forgive yourself, and you, then you can't move forward. If you don't surrender and learn to forgive yourself for the things that you're blaming yourself for, then you cannot get past this test. And you cannot get past this change that is trying to take place in your life that you are actually manifesting, that you have actually prayed for. So in order for you to get to the next level in the next phase of your life, you have to stop blaming yourself for something that you uh, did in your past or something that you allowed to transpire in your life. We must forgive ourselves first. Do you not know when you don't forgive yourself or forgive others that you stop the flow of blessings towards your life? You have to accept that, hey, it happened. I need you to put a purple heart in the comment because we're putting it out into the universe and to God and we're trying to bring this to existence that we can stop blaming ourselves and accepting the things that we cannot change because it has already happened but but most importantly focus on the things that we can change and 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 know the difference between them too so I feel like you're blaming yourself you're angry you had, you had a place a time and place right now in your life where you're happy but you're also angry and you also beat yourself up because you 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 blame yourself for a lot of things that has happened. Listen, we all have we all we all have been there. We all go through the blame and and, and I should have done this better. Why didn't I see this or why didn't I do this and dot 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 this? And you're you're being very hard on yourself and you're blaming yourself for this, for the things that has happened that you cannot change. But you need to forgive yourself in, all, in order for something beautiful to start to transpire in your life. This very thing that you're manifesting, that you've been praying for, that you want to come to your life, you must first stop blaming yourself. You need to surrender and say, you know what? I accept things that they cannot, I, I just can't change them. But I am willing to go towards the things that I, ch I can change and I can continue to go on the path of creating my happiness. Okay, so I feel like you're blaming yourself. And it has you in a state of fear. Guilt, yeah. Yep. You're feeling guilty about something. You're blaming yourself about something that has happened in your past. You're blaming yourself about things that have happened. And I feel like you really need to work on your shadow side. I'm getting in the energy, spirit guides are telling me, some of you are like, why didn't I see that coming? Why didn't I know that? I should have saw that. I should have... I should have been more vigilant. I should have, you should have, should have, would have, could have, but you didn't. It has happened. Why are you going to continue to blame yourself and hold guilt over yourself because you made a bad decision or something happened that you just was not aware of or something that, you know, wh whatever this is that you're blaming yourself and you're feeling guilty about. It says, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul growth, growth, soul's growth. So spirit guides need you to release that guilt, release that re Forgive yourself, Aquarius. <sighs> Forgive yourself because I see you're happy. I see success around you, Aquarius. But at the same time, it's like you have mixed emotions. 
In other words, you're staying stuck in time. You're staying stuck in time and this change can't take place until you surrender and stop having the need to control what has already happened. Thank you. Grief. My, my goodness, when I tell you you are blaming yourself, you are really feeling guilty about something. It says, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Either there's someone you have lost and you feel as though that you didn't get to say the last words you wanted to, 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 to say or you, uh, you feel as though you missed the opportunity of saying something, someone you may have lost. If you lost someone dear to you, my deepest condolences. And at the same time, I feel like Spirit Guides is wanting you to appreciate the good that was in your life from this person or from the very thing that you're lost wants you to appreciate that. So I feel like you're feeling a lot of, maybe some of you are feeling a lot of guilt, a lot of blame towards uh, maybe someone that has passed away, someone that you're, you're still mourning, that you feel like you didn't do all you could do or that you wanted to do. And so you're holding on to that. So you're like, like I said, you're in between the anger and you're in between the uh, happiness. You're happy, but you're also angry at yourself because you feel as though that you took the time that you had with someone you took it for granted and you did not get to say or, or wanted to say what you wanted to say if it comes down if it's down to a grief losing someone but spirit guys want you to take this losing someone as an opportunity to appreciate them appreciate the time that you did have what did this person teach you what did this 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 situation teach you and hold on to those good times hold those on hold on to those good things and bring them into your existence but as long as you continue to hold the blame the guilt over something you lost something that did not work out something that that you did not um uh understand uh, why you lost it and, and and until you let that go your manifestation whatever you want to come into existence this change is it can't take place until you forgive yourself I'm speaking to someone that needs to forgive themselves this gang this blame this guilt okay and accepting, spirit guides want you to accept that you can't change things that you cannot change, okay? But just take the good parts out of it and bring it in, into your happiness. If it's someone you lost, remember the times that you spent together. The mem remember the laughter, okay? Remember a lot of the good things, okay? Even down in relationships that you feel like you're blaming yourself and guilty. The spirit guides say you did all you can do, the best that you can do at the time that you could. Some of you just outgrow that situation. Some of you it was time to move on. Uh, some of you, that was it. That was the ending. So you have to learn to forgive yourself, Aquarius. Gratitude. Be grateful and thankful. It says, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Be, be grateful and thankful for now. Forgive yourself. Stop being hard on yourself. I just did a big, you know, this grateful and love and abundance. Look at all this. Look at all this coming into your life. Once you forgive yourself, health. I just got through getting on uh, Taurus about um, for, about loving themselves. But you're holding on to, to guilt. Love. It says, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Love. And you have abundances here, Aquarius. And it says, I am limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. In order, you, in order for you to get to this change, Aquarius, in order for you to get there, this manifestation that you did for this abundance to flow into your life, for this to come to your, your reality, your physical reality, you must first release this, 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 um, blame and guilt towards yourself you must first forgive yourself that's what it's all about you have to forgive yourself i need you to put a purple heart purple heart in the comment that's us releasing it back into the universe so that god divine universe can take that take that guilt away and bring in forgiveness in your life 
Let's see some more energy. You need to forgive yourself. Be still and forgive yourself. Some of you are very emotional right now as I speak. Some of you could be crying as you go through this video. Sweetheart, sir, please don't cry. Sweetheart, don't cry. It's all right. It's all right. Be still and, 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 and the emotions, whatever you're feeling right now, go ahead and let it out. Let it out. Because you've been holding this guilt and this blame for yourself for so long. Because of someone you pet that passed away, someone that you love passed away, someone that something that did not, you're blaming yourself for something, maybe a relationship that did not work and you're blaming yourself for it. And the Spirit God said, release this emotions. Go ahead. Go ahead and cry it out when I tell you, I need you to scream. I need you to get this out of your system. Because Spirit God said, once you release that out of your system, now I need you to process it and I need you to forgive yourself. It's time to forgive you because you've been holding this too long. Aquarius, it's time for you to celebrate. It's time for you to celebrate. It's time for you to be happy. That's what your ancestors will have vibrations. That's what your loved ones will want you to be happy, to celebrate, to live your life, to celebrate their life. This can be in mourning for someone. I don't know who you are, but this is celebration of their life. Celebrate, be happy. That's what they want you to do. Your mother, your grandmother, your father, your 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 sister, your brother, your cousin, your whoever, celebrate happiness for them. Stop holding on to guilt. Forgive yourself. Tell me more, spirit guys, for Aquarius. This is all about forgiving yourself. Time out. Take time out for yourself. Aquarius, it's time to forgive yourself. It's time for you to love yourself. It's time for you to take out, take time out for you and forgive yourself. S sit still and cry these emotions out. But it's time for you to live so that your manifestation, so that your happiness can come, so that this change can take place in your life. Time out for you. It's time out for blaming yourself. Time out for, for making yourself feel guilty. Time out for you being hard on yourself. Time out. Time out for all of that. It's time for that to go away. It's time for you to take time out and forgive yourself. Process these emotions that you're going through because you have abundance awaiting you. You have a major change, a major manifestation coming in for you happiness but first you must forgive yourself because i feel like you're angry at yourself you're blaming yourself for something that you lost something that you're grieving someone you're grieving and you're blaming yourself and you've been feeling guilty you've been holding on to this for so long and it's time to release these emotions that's where i feel like a, a part of you with the with the with the happy card here with the happy and with the anger card that some of you you want to be so happy but then you start feeling guilty because you're not happy because you're happy you want to be happy but you're not happy you're angry because you did not maybe you're feeling guilty it's like it's like do i deserve to be happy because i feel guilty i feel like in my past i didn't do uh, you know i blame myself for something that i i i didn't do that's why I say I feel like there are mixed emotions here. But spirit guides need you to process these emotions. Process what it is that's making you feel like you don't deserve happiness because you're, you're, you're blaming yourself and you're guilty for something. Maybe someone that has passed on and that you feel like that they shouldn't be here. That, you, you know, why are you here? And is that you, you want to be happy, but you feel like it's not fair because they're not here and you're happy and they're not here. And you, and it makes you angry because you're mad at yourself because you couldn't control the situation and you can't control the situation. Not only that, you cannot change the past. Spirit guys has said, process the emotions the cry it out let it out process it and then it's time for you to it's time for you to start this change it's time for you to uh create abundance in your life happiness joy peace communication i feel like you didn't get to say what you wanted to say in this time of loss this grief or someone 
communication. I feel like you didn't communicate like you wanted to. It's, it's almost like what Spirit Guides is telling me. You didn't say what you wanted to say at, at the time. It's like you didn't have enough of time to say. You didn't. It's like it, it's like it happened so fast. You didn't get enough of time to communicate to someone you lost or something. It's, it's all about communication. And Spirit God said, I need you to process, I need you to cry it out, process it, and I need you to be patient with yourself, and then I need you to let it go. I need you to let this guilt and blame go. I need you to forgive yourself. I don't know who this is for. Yeah, I need you to surrender. Because once you surrender, Aquarius, you will feel a big burden off of you, and you will say, okay, I know this is what whoever it was that I lost in my life. I know they will want me to be happy. I know they will want me to feel my, fulfill my life and and fill my life with joy and 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 be abundantly happy. Once you release this guilt and this blame for not communicating, for not saying what you wanted to say during this grief or during this time of loss or before this person left this earth. Once you surrender, you're going to feel it's going to be a whole weight lifted off of you. And that means that you have to, you have to, you have to uh, acknowledge your emotions. You can't keep burying your emotions down, Aquarius. You have to acknowledge it. You have to surrender to it. Once you surrender, you're going to feel so free like this woman here. You're going to, it's going to feel like a pound a pound of weight has been lifted off of you because you're learning how to forgive yourself. And because the way you learn how to forgive yourself is to put yourself in the person that was in your life. Wouldn't they want you to smile and be happy? Wouldn't they want you to be happy within yourself? Don't you think that they're watching you? Your loved ones are watching you and seeing that, yeah, they're making sure that they want you to be happy. But you have to forgive yourself first. I don't know who this is for, but you have to forgive yourself. Spare guys, what is the message for Aquarius? Yeah, it's time to move away from that. Time to move away from this 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 situation, Aquarius. If this was if this was a someone that you was in a relationship, a karmic situation that you was in for six years, okay, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, stop blaming yourself for what you could have done or what didn't work or what you didn't. You're blaming yourself for something that was not your fault. You're blaming yourself. You're still holding on to something that you feel like it was you. You're feeling guilty that you left. You're feeling guilty that you, you know, that it didn't work, that you should have done something different in that. No, no matter what you did, if that person wasn't changing, it's because they didn't want to change. You could have, you could have cut flips. You could have hung from a chandelier if a person ain't willing to change, they ain't going to change. So I need you to stop blaming yourself for something that you think or you thought that you could have fixed or you could have stopped because it's not. A person's going to change because they want to change. And you had to leave that situation. I don't know who this is for. I'm not going to take that one. Spirit guys, tell me more for Aquarius. Yeah. They were deceiving. Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They were deceiving. They lied to you, manipulating, kind things, cheated. Work. You worked hard on this con connection. Ooh, you worked hard on this connection. Now you don't see this person. You don't see this person for. You don't see this person the same anymore with the Page of Cups in the reverse. You don't see a future with this person. Spirit guys, tell me more for Aquarius. You're happy. It's time to be happy within yourself. You're free. You're feeling good. You're free about it. But you need to you need to forgive yourself. Totally free. You're happy. Yeah, you're single. You're happy. You're looking good. You're grounded. You're very intuitive. You're tapped into your intuition. Okay? This person lied and stole and cheated from you. This is not your wish fulfillment. This is not who you want to be with. You're moving forward. Tell me more, spirit guides. Woo. Yes, there go your card. There you go. Here it is, Aquarius. Yeah, stop feeling guilty. Stop stop blaming yourself for things that has, you know, that you cannot change. And you this is your card, Aquarius. This is the star card. Healing, wishing, wish fulfillment, pouring into yourself. 
taking a new beginning, starting a new beginning, taking a new leap of faith. You and your child, your dog, your cat, whatever, but your chin is up and your chest is out. At one point in time, you, you felt guilty about leaving this karmic situation. You felt guilty. But now, you're not, you, 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 you starting a new beginning, starting the change that's taking place in your life. You're manifesting, you're, 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 in, you're in your change. You, you're starting a new leap, taking a new leap, leap of faith. You're going towards your abundance. Towards your abundance, your fulfillment. Spirit guys, tell me more. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're letting go of anxiety. You're learning how to be patient with yourself. You're pouring into yourself. You're loving yourself. Some of you was having big regrets. Big regrets of leaving someone out in the cold. But there was no stability there. There was no stability there. Now you have something rushing towards you. Tell me more. Yeah. This was someone that <clears throat> you're cold towards, someone that you left out in the cold as well. Aquarius, someone could be rushing back into your energy, could be an earth sign that's rushing back into your energy that you're cold towards, you haven't talked to. Um, um, yeah. That you left out in the cold. This person was very negative, negative energy. Low self-esteem this person could have. But I feel like you have a lot of options. You 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 definitely gain a lot of strength. This person just coming back in wants to rush back in your energy. Hair fit is here. <clears throat> Standing alone. This person could be watching you. Yeah, you cut this person out of your life. They could be watching you on social media of some, some sort. They're having no success in their life. They don't want you to shut the door on them. But um, no stability. Very childish energy. Any other message, Spirit Guys? Four Aquarius. So, Aquarius, you need to forgive yourself and stop holding on to guilt. Yeah, you keep looking back on nostalgia memories, and you need to turn around. You need to pick your head up. Stop looking down. Pick your head up, because if you're looking down, you can't see where you're going. If you keep looking down at what is what you have lost, so looking back on nostalgia memory, you can't see those two cups behind you. How do you know where you're going if your head is continuing being back, looking back on the past? You need to look towards the future. Stop blaming yourself. And focus on 11-11. Focus on uh, conquering a lot of things. Uh, I see marriage. I see house, house in your in your in your um, future. Yeah, I see things destined for you. You're thinking logical now. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. Good luck. Good fortune is coming towards you. This change, this manifestation, now coming back around to you. That you are now about to be into your abundance. <clears throat> but in for but in order for you <clears throat> excuse me in order for you to forgive yourself <clears throat> in order for you to this change this manifestation to come into the past you have to forgive yourself first and i feel like you have done that i feel like some of you are working towards that but spirit guys is saying stop blaming yourself feeling guilty about wanting to be happy and feeling guilty because of something didn't work out or feeling guilty because it just it just didn't and because you want to be happy you feel like you're angry because you feel like you shouldn't be happy because, you know, or this person is trying to make you feel like you shouldn't be happy, but you deserve to be happy. So I need you to forgive yourself. I'm Positive Thoughts Energy Aquarius. Until next time.